Hi. Let's talk about manga. Welcome to my first video, Manga Saviors. We're going to... This is going to be a unique video, uh, separate from Here's the Thing, which I usually do on this channel. You see, we're going to examine arguments on how to save comics. Guys, I have this great idea on how we can save comics. We just need an anthology format like Shonen Jump. Okay. So, there are people who argue how we can save comics, and there are a bunch of different arguments you'll always see if you look into these comic uh, threads. Like, we have to be more like manga. And there's a lot of reasons that would probably fail. I can't go into every one in one single video without it taking up an hour-long thing, so I'm going to divide into different topics in this case. And in this case, we're going to talk about the anthology format. The good, the bad, and the ugly of it. Let's, let's do this. So what's an anthology format? Well, often it's a collection of stories by different creators. You'll have one story end and another story start up. And the collection of them. And a lot of manga in Japan is published like this. You might have heard of Shonen Jump or a, a bunch of other things. Look, there's a lot of anthology books that are in Japan that we haven't heard of. One I know about is Champion Red, which I believe Berserk is published in. You know Berserk? All right, who's going to jerk me off? Yeah, uh, that one. <laughs> um, and the thing with that idea is that the anthology format is like is based on this idea. If we have all these comics together in one place, people would probably buy more of it. And I'm going to stop you there. All right, so what's the problem with anthology formats? Well, what if I don't want to buy the other stories that are attached to it? You see, the thing about anthologies... Yeah, not you're not gonna like every story in in the anthology. Now, I'm one of those weird comic people who like a lot of different characters. Like, I like the Blue Beetle. I can see why Bruce likes you. He does. He really does. I like Adam X the Extreme, the guy who has the power to electrocute blood. That's an actual character. You now know about Adam X the Extreme. But, and heck, I like a lot of manga too. But there are a couple problems with this, and I'm just going to go over this right now. For one thing, manga in an anthology format often have to be targeted towards specific markets. You might have heard the terms shonen, shoujo, senin, jose, all those. Well, those are targeted towards specific groups of people. Like, jose's older women, senin's older men, shonen's boys, shoujo's girls. Heck, even within the, those genres, there's older and younger boy categories. Like, they're, they're divided up in a bunch of different things, but here's the but here's the thing about the anthology format. We actually sold Shonen Jump for years in the States. It was pretty big for a good while, but it got cancelled. But why, you might ask? Well, Here's the thing, a One Piece fan is not exactly a Naruto fan, or a Dragon Ball Z fan is not a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. You might have people who like all those series together, but maybe they're not a fan of everything in the manga, so to them it's just wasted space. When they could be reading more chapters of One Piece, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or Dragon Ball. You see... The anthology format's a nice idea, because it's like all these creators get to have one place where they can tell their stories, but that can be very limiting. One of the reasons that Shonen Jump can be popularized by battle manga or gaming manga is because those are the stories that attract young boys. 
So it sticks to very specific niche niches that you can't really get out of sometimes. And as much as I like a lot of these manga, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to pick up a title every month that's a bunch of collection of them because I might want to read two or three of them. I'll just pick up the trade later or read them separately somehow. Heck, there are acts that allow you to do that, and let's be fair, there's an entire illegal scanlation thing where you can just read that series from beginning to end. Your heart in a deep, being a pirate is a red to be. Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yeah. As much as, like, people want the anthology format to save comics, I don't think it'll work because people are going to have to buy a lot of... are going to have to like at least three series in that format. Like, here's the thing. How are you going to decide what series to pack together? Are you going to pack all the girl titles together, all the boy titles together? Are you going to do all superheroes? Or are you going to do something different? Because people have a variety of tastes, too. I know people who buy Batman and Vertigo titles only, or they buy, like, one or three Marvel titles and a couple DC books. You're asking people to basically spend money on stories they don't want. You don't like paying for all the channels? Oh, our company actually packages channels together. And that's the problem with the anthology format. There are good things about the anthology format in American comics, though. Often it can be used to expose new creators, characters, or concepts. The anthology format in America actually has more success exposing new ideas rather than making series out of them. Heck, a lot of big creators in comics actually started out in anthology titles. But there's a couple reasons why the anthology title died in America, mostly because, one, some of them weren't had no continuing stories. Like, romance comics were just romance comics. They were one-and-done things about either getting falling in love or breaking up. There wasn't a serial adventure hook to keep people coming month to month. Or, heck, uh, war comics were anthology books for a long time until they found a lead character like Sergeant Rock, the Unknown Soldier, or a bunch of these other characters. That's kind of the thing about it. Like, as much as people want these things to succeed... Some of these ideas have been tried in America comics before, and they didn't work. And maybe it would be different nowadays. I'm not saying that an anthology comic can't come along and be a success, but I'm not going to buy every title you're going to put into an anthology by themselves. Like, there are some comics I just don't enjoy. And you know what? You should be allowed to decide what titles you want to buy. I don't want to have to buy stuff I don't like. And while I'm one of those guys who enjoys anthologies sometimes, well, I'm not going to like everything in it, and I'm probably only going to go back to a couple stories and just forget about the ones I don't like. Remember, there's a lot of reasons why the comic industry is what it is today. And we're not going to fix it with just one idea or aping manga. Heck, right now manga has a bunch of its own problems. But the anthology format won't save comics. At least in my opinion. Maybe there are some other ideas. Maybe we can make all our comics black and white. See you next time for this.